So, I guess Marvin Hagler died, but we're not going to virtue signal about that. Heard the news, felt absolutely nothing. Did you? Why? Because pixels on the TV screen? Be honest. Why? At any rate, I actually just woke up 45 minutes ago and watched this Juan Francisco Estrada Roman Gonzalez fight. I don't stay up for boxing these days anymore, but my dog woke me up in the middle of the night and there I was thinking to myself, hey, didn't a big fight, big little, little big fight just happen? Let me see if I could catch the replay now that I'm awake. Thanks a lot, pooch. Um, as expected, great fight. Uh, I was surprised, though, by Estrada coming out and doing what he did. Beginning of the fight, oh, man, I got all these post-fights to listen to. Who did you have winning? Estrada, Choco. What? Most people had Chocolatito winning? I don't know. Maybe off. At least on Mark's channel. Maybe I'll watch um, the fight again. But it started out very much like the first fight, a repeat of the first fight. I gave Estrada the first round, but then Chocolatito stepped on the gas, pushed them back. In the first round, I I'm going to do the scorecards. Uh, give you my scorecard while it's fresh in my memory, I guess. Um, Estrada didn't, I didn't see a clean punch from him until the sixth round. But Chocolatito really didn't land much himself in the first. And well, we'll talk about CompuBox later. So I gave Estrada the first. He just outworked him. I didn't really see anybody outlanding anybody, but Estrada was just much busier. So I gave him the first, then the next four. And it was an easy fight to score, I thought, for the most part, except for maybe one round. The next four, Chocolatito clearly won. He was the only one landing clean punches. Uh, Estrada kept punching his gloves. But then Estrada stepped it up in the sixth. So I gave him that round. It was the first round that I saw him landing a clean punch. And from there on, I didn't give Chocolatito another round till the 12th, where I thought he whooped Francisco's ass. Um, so that would be 7-5 Juan Francisco Estrada for me. And I said he had to do something different, Estrada. And he did. And, you know, neither guy was really the same, but maybe it was just Estrada's size and, and I don't know. Or the fact that he fixed his defense up a little bit and didn't get cracked as much. Um, he was stronger relative to, I wouldn't say he was stronger than Chocolatito, but he was stronger relative to um, himself in the Chocolatito fight, if that makes any sense. The strength difference, there was no strength difference in this fight, in my opinion. Whereas in the first fight, Chocolatito did look stronger, especially down the stretch. And the couple of adjustments that I noticed right off the bat was that Estrada would put his left hand in front of his face to block the right hand from Chocolatito. And that allowed him to stay in the pocket more instead of getting hit cleanly and pushed out the pocket. That allowed him to stay in the pocket and counter punch. Keep fighting. And another thing is that he just didn't bounce around as much and dance around that ring as much. Um, yeah, he did get backed up early on in the fight. 
which the commentators didn't fail to point out. But then when he started standing his ground, giving as good as he gave, and also on top of that backing up Gonzalez, more so in the second half of the fight, except for that 12th round, even though he did a little bit of that, he did get his ass whooped in that 12th round, man. Chocolatito was trying to knock him out. Couldn't do it. Uh, but, yeah, the commentators just played themselves, basically. Told on themselves. And even though Estrada turned the fight around and never really looked back till the 12th round by landing more clean punches and pushing, thus also pushing Chocolatito back, taking the fight 7-5 in my opinion, could have had it 6-6. There was one round that was tough to score, I thought, just one that I gave to Estrada. If you gave that to Chocolatito, he gets a draw, but I didn't see him winning this fight. I was sober. I was uh, pretty fresh, actually, having had a half a good night's sleep. Um, again, maybe I'll watch the fight, but I don't think there's much controversy here. Not for me, man. But maybe I'll watch it again, and I don't think I will be doing that. Not because it wasn't a very good fight, because it was, but, you know. Who's got the time to sit there and just watch boxing all the damn time? Hmm? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, insofar as CompuBox goes, I mean, just look at these guys' faces right after the fight. Yeah, they had some little bruising here and there, but really, they were pretty clean, right? You're telling me these guys are landing 300 clean punches on one another and coming out to fight clean? Oh, CompuBox is a fucking embarrassment, man. There's no way in hell you can land 300 plus clean punches on your opponent and he's not going to be busted the fuck up. It's just not going to happen. And that's not what happened. Chocolatito showed much better defense on uh, early on in the fight where Estrada couldn't really hit him very cleanly. But then Estrada picked up his defense, I thought, and was able to hit Chocolatito more cleanly himself, which slowed Chocolatito down. And, um, you know... They did land quite a few good clean punches, but most of their work, and this is mostly true of Estrada, or more true of Estrada early on in the fight, and then more true of Chocolatito later later on in the fight, they punched each other's gloves a lot. Chocolatito's defense is like probably top three in the game. And Estrada in this fight, his was right up there too even though he hasn't shown as good a defense. And, you know, the first half of the fight was really looking like a repeat of the first encounter. But ultimately, like I said, he adjusted. And I thought he pretty clearly won the fight, 7-5. And CompuBox is garbage. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense, man. Not in the real world. And... I thought the commentary was pro Chocolatito and the commentators. Even though I agree with Chris Mannix's scorecard in the first six rounds, he completely flipped the script and played himself in the second half of the fight, all of a sudden uh, employing a, a, a different standard because Chocolatito was getting backed up more so than the other way around. So the zone still takes the cake for the shittiest commentary out there probably. And that's fucking saying a lot, seeing as we have this thing called the PBC. So, you know, it is what it is. And top rank, <laughs> top rank, uh, original top rank commentary, my fucking God. Anyway, yeah, very competitive, very close fight, but not that hard to score. And I thought Estrada was just better down the stretch. He adjusted, whereas Chocolatito slowed down a little bit toward the end of the fight, except for the 12th round. And 
even though he nicked the fight, Estrada, I thought he nicked it pretty clearly. Just my take on the fight. Congratulations to the winner. Um, man. I guess that's only 87 votes on, on one channel, so, you know, not a representative sample of the boxing public at large. And who knows how many of those people were sober. How many people of those 87 voting there do you think were actually sober? Hmm? How many? Two? Anyway. Why would you do that to yourself? I don't get it, man. Don't get me wrong. I like some... A little bit of something, something here and there, right? But getting drunk's got to be one of the least enjoyable things a human being can do. Seriously. Why would you do that to yourself? Oh, you sad fucks. Anyway. Like the video, hate the video. I don't give a fuck, man. Just as I felt absolutely nothing when I saw someone say that Marvin Hagler died. So, anyway, it's not my family. People die every day. Tens of thousands of people that you don't know, I don't know, die every day. We go on virtue signal about that too? Fuck out of here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.